Now Lien is a well-known artist, and her work has expanded into many dimensions. So I, I started with using my own hair、um, because I sort of wanted to sort of express certain things about、um, my position in the art world. And then last year, I began using other people's hair, people that I knew, as well as、um, some people that I don't know.、Um, and and I wanted to use other people's hair because I sort of started wanting to express this sense of universality in the work by by taking other people's hair and using it. And、um, one of the works that I I I think is really successful in this sense is the Sir Edmund Hillary five dollar note.、Um, so obviously,、um, Sir Edmund Hillary、uh, passed away last year, and I I thought it was it was amazing how 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 deeply he affected New Zealanders, and for for me as well, it was really interesting because he he was such he was such an amazing man. I mean, with all the With with what he achieved when he was young, and also what he also worked on、um, when he was older, all the humanitarian sort of efforts that that he、um, made to make other people's lives better. And so, he, in a way, he was a real hero. And I wanted to make a memorial for him, so I I wanted to use,、um, but I didn't want to make it out of my own hair. So I wanted to use other people's hair.、Um, Different, different New Zealanders, basically. So I, I used.、Um, I, that's how I started using other people's hair in my work. But becoming a successful artist wasn't an easy task. There definitely are some obstacles in getting getting your work out there as an ethnic minority, and and some of it is is cultural.、Um, As、uh, I guess, it, as an Asian female, you're never really taught to kind of speak up for yourself.、Um, I mean, th- coming through an Asian educational background, you're you're not sort of like taught to express yourself. I mean, you're not encouraged to express yourself, and 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 least of all to actually even、um, promote yourself to other people. So that was one of the main things that I had to sort of overcome as. An Asian female,、um, and and with with with、uh, with an industry like art, you it it really is about who you know that matters. So so I guess I had to find my own way of making connections with people, and and basically, I think that the best way is to just actually make friends and. And ask for help or help other people, and and that's kind of how I, I think I, inserted myself into the Auckland art scene. Mediterranean food is known for its richness in vitamins and minerals, especially iron. I visited Nuras in the city to find out more about the cuisine. I'm standing outside Sky City Metro, right here in the heart of Auckland City. Today we're going to check out Nuras Mediterranean Kitchen. Authentic Mediterranean Lebanese food right here in Auckland. So everyone in our staff and customer remembers Hadi, healthy, hygienic, and halal. Authentic, delicious, and inexpensive. That's us here. Frida Akstrami, the head chef, about their delicious cuisine. Mix grill. What is the mix grill? Mexican grill is one of the delicious, one of the most delicious dishes you can eat in New Zealand. Mexican grill is very healthy because all, as you see, grilled, as we're seeing here, grilling. It's a mixture of chicken, beef, lamb, all grilled with some fries. Or if you don't want the fries, give it some rice instead. We have grilled vegetables and the pita bread. Very healthy, inexpensive, and people love it. Very delicious. We have we marinate it in a special way, with a typical Lebanese way. By the way, do you know why we say Lebanese? I insist on Lebanese because in Lebanon we have nothing except hospitality, and nothing except good giving good food to the people, and good weather. That's what we have in Lebanon. Good brains as well. Nothing else. 
So I am really proud to say it's Lebanese. It's done everywhere in the Middle East, by the way, but this is the proper way we do it here, the proper Lebanese way. Shanks are e even better in Tessia. So some people, they like shanks nowadays becomes fashion. Very fashionable now. Everywhere you go, you eat shanks. We do it in a different, really very different way, very quick way. Remember, we are in a food court here, but believe me, we are in a food court, but we sell the shanks as you are in a first-class restaurant. Our shanks, we put mix in herbs, herbs and spice with about 16 to 17 herbs and spices in, in the shank, and to cook it together about two and a half to three hours and to be ready to serve for the people. We give them some the best rice, best mati rice. We cook it in, the, in, in our way as well with some spices and we cook it nicely and we give the shanks with it and we give with it salads or yogurt salad and the Middle Eastern people, especially Saudi Arabian people, they love it. It's very delicious. We have a very wide menu for vegetarian people. We have got from, I mean, now the food, I've been in the country for 25 years, and I have really introduced all the Lebanese food to the New Zealanders. Believe me now, we have got from tabbouleh to hummus, falafel, Mediterranean salads, and baba ganoush, the dip, dip, eggplant dips. Very delicious, very authentic. You know, the falafel we're doing here, one of the best. I used to sell in the past to the, the biggest supermarket in, 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 in Auckland, sell my products to them years and years ago. I sold them falafel, potato salad, hummus, tabbouleh, baklava. We do all this, we do it ours. I do it myself. I'm very proud of these things. The vegetarian people, they love it. They love these products. The falafel are very, very authentic, very delicious. You have to try to know how nice it is, darling. You must try them. Very, very special because it's my touch, because I do it myself. It's a Lebanese, it's pure Lebanese, very tasty. The sauce we put with the falafel, people, they always think it's yogurt sauce. It's not a yogurt sauce. It's a secret sauce. <laughs> very nice, very delicious. You try them, you know how, they, how nice they are. The falafel really, it's a, I'll tell you what's the, what's, the, what's the falafel. Falafel is a mixture of herbs, beans, and spices. But you have to know how to mix them. You know, cooking, cooking, it's not really, it's not, it's, it's not by measure you have to measure. It. It's by taste and flavor and, 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 and passion. You know, you have to know what, how to cook, what to cook. If you love cooking, you, lo you know how to do it. If you don't love cooking, you learn. You can't learn how to cook. You have to be born. You can't learn to be a leader, darling. You have to be a leader by yourself. So that's the way it is. I mean, I love cooking. Mainly our customers, of course, we are operating in New Zealand. So what do you think going to be our customers? All from New Zealand. Okay, but we have mainly the customers come from Middle East to study. But second to the, these customers, we have the Indians, we have the Asians, all kinds. We have the... People, they come from the Middle East for a visit, all of them become Indians because we have similarity in the culture with the same with the Chinese or come from Singapore or from Malaysia because we have the halal food. So I think we have similarity in many things here and they find it here in Nura because of the simi I don't have curry. I tell you I don't have curry, but I have everything. All the spices, you know, I love India, all the spices came from India originally, and the herbs. So we love the Indian spices and so ah, delicious, you know. So we, we really have our customers every, from everywhere. New Zealand, Kiwis, oh, number one. The, all the weekend we have lots of Kiwis here. We have Kiwis, Indians, Chinese, Japanese, Malaysian, Singaporean, Korean now again. We have all kinds of people here. After the break, Neha teaches us a new yoga posture. So grab a mat, change into your yoga gear for Neha's Art of Living. <laughs> 